Hi, boys and girls. Today, I want to teach you how to do two-digit multiplication using an area model. So let's say I had 34 times 34. I could draw an area model. So I would draw a little rectangle here. And 34 is 30 and 4. And 30 and 4. So I would multiply parts of the product because I'm going to get my final product right here after I add together the partial products. So 30 times 30, the easy way to do that would be 3 times 3 is 9. And I would add my two zeros because I'm not doing 3 times 3, I'm doing 30 times 30. 30 times 4 would be 3 times 4 is 12. Add my zero is 120. 4 times 30, 4 times 3 is 12, add my 0, and then 4 times 4 is 16. Now I have all these partial products. I have 900 plus 120 plus 120 plus 16, making sure I line up the ones with the ones and the tens with the tens. And then I add them together, and I get 9, 10, 11. 1,156 would be my final product. So this is just one way that you can do multiplication. And you don't have to even do, um, make it so that the numbers are smaller or not. Let's say I'm going to do one more really quickly. I have 53 times 16. I could just, I know that this is two digits. So I could divide it into four, because it's two digits and two digits. So even though it's not spaced the way it is up here, I could do 50 and three, 10 and six. So 50 times 10, five times one is five, add my two zeros. Five times six is 30, and add my zero. Three times 10 is 30. Three times six is 18. Now I have all my partial products. So I would add them together. 500 plus 300 plus 30 plus 18. So I would get eight, four, eight. So 53 times 16 makes a final product of 848. I hope this helps you with the area model. Try it out with the three problems I gave you.